Hi guys, my name is Jacob and this is Archimedes Tub. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to extract platinum group metals from catalytic converters. And before this video, I must preface it saying that I did extract or that I did acquire these catalytic converters 100% legally. I own an automotive shop and this was just derelict cars hanging around that wasn't ever going to get sold. Um, also, this is for educational purposes only. Um, the actions in this video are incredibly dangerous. Uh, platinum group metals dissolved, their, their water-soluble salts um, can be very harmful to your skin. Uh, the process also produces chlorine gas. Now, in these small amounts, it's mostly negligible. Um, for the most part, as long as I keep it outside and I'm not doing huge 50-gallon drums, um, and I wear gloves and the proper safety precautions, I'll be okay. But none of you should attempt this at home. This is for educational purposes only. All right, well, with that being said, let's get started. So here, this is me um, crushing up the catalytic converter pieces and bits. Uh, not all of it was small enough to easily fit into the quote-unquote collection vessels I acquired from Target. Um, they also all wouldn't fit in one, so I had to separate the two. So here, this is me um, crushing up the catalytic converter pieces and bits. Uh, not all of it was small enough to easily fit into the quote-unquote collection vessels I acquired from Target. Um, they also all wouldn't fit in one, so I had to separate the two.
Okay, so here I am pouring in enough muriatic, also known as hydrochloric acid, in the uh, in the collection jars, um, just enough to cover the material, plus a little more, over, pr probably about one or two inches on top. Um, after that, I'm going to be putting bleach in there to go ahead and start the reaction. Uh, this right now is the first dangerous part. This is where um, I'll just have to be very quick about not breathing in while I'm doing this and quickly capping off uh, the containers. So let's get started. Okay, so here I am pouring in enough muriatic, also known as hydrochloric acid, in the uh, in the collection jars, um, just enough to cover the material, plus a little more, over, pr probably about one or two inches on top. Um, after that, I'm going to be putting bleach in there to go ahead and start the reaction. Uh, this right now is the first dangerous part. This is where um, I'll just have to be very quick about not breathing in while I'm doing this and quickly capping off uh, the containers. So let's get started.
All right, well, that's pretty much everything. Um, it's all done now. The next part of the process is we're going to wait for about a month. Um, and every day or every other day, I will add a little bit of bleach. And what that does is the bleach reacts with the hydrochloric acid to release chlorine gas into the solution. And the chlorine gas will then react with it. And again, I'm not too exactly sure on the science. I promise I'll have more updated notes on the next video. But the chlorine gas is highly reactive and it helps <clears throat> the leaching solution. There, that's the proper word that I've been meaning to say this whole time. The leaching solution um, dissolve the platinum metals from the catalytic converter dust. And this process will take about a month. And then after that, it'll be a little bit more of some chemistry involved, a little bit of uh, smelting maybe. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, we just got to do this and wait. So thank you all for joining in on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and there will be many more on the way. Thank you and y'all have a wonderful day. All right, well, that's pretty much everything. Um, it's all done now. The next part of the process is we're going to wait for about a month. Um, and every day or every other day, I will add a little bit of bleach. And what that does is the bleach reacts with the hydrochloric acid to release chlorine gas into the solution. And the chlorine gas will then react with, and again, I'm not too exactly sure on the science, I promise I'll have more updated notes on the next video. But the chlorine gas is highly reactive and it helps <clears throat> the leaching solution, there, that's the proper word that I've been meaning to say this whole time, the leaching solution um, dissolve the platinum metals from the catalytic converter dust. And this process will take about a month and then after that, it'll be a little bit more of some chemistry involved, a little bit of uh, smelting maybe, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, we just got to do this and wait. So thank you all for joining in on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and there will be many more on the way. Thank you and y'all have a wonderful day.